Hey, this is Bob from Dog Watch Cigar Radio. And this is Dale, and you're watching a video review on stogiereview.com. Excellent. That one sounded okay. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Stogie Review Video Review. Uh, if you're new to the game here, we uh, we just uh, sit in front of the camera, do an honest video review uh, about once a week. There's uh, three of us, uh, myself, uh, Walt, there's uh, Jerry, and Justin, and uh, you know we kind of take turns just uh, doing these uh, cigar video reviews. And uh, well, anyway, d uh, this time I have the uh, the 601 Blue Label. This is uh, by EO Brands. It's also a uh, uh, United Tobacco, I think. The uh, this is blended by Don Pepin Garcia. Now there are uh, a few other in the EO lineup which are blended by Rocky Patel. The uh, the 601 just happens to be blended by uh, Don Pepin. The vibe and the R E O or Rio is all uh, Rocky Patel uh, blended products. But uh, anyway, if uh, if you're a regular listener of uh, the Dog Watch Cigar Radio, this uh, the cigar may be familiar to you because. Uh, Jerry, Justin, Brian, and I uh, just happened to, to sit in on the show this week, and uh, we smoked the 601. So I thought I would uh, smoke this cigar uh, this week and uh, kind of pair up the video review with uh, with uh, the great show Bob and Dale put on. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and kind of get started with this particular cigar. And uh, Well, before I get into cutting and lighting, uh, first thing about the cigar it does have a loose band, and uh, you know it's one of the things I really enjoy about cigars. Uh, if the band is loose, it's uh, it's never a problem. You know, it doesn't damage the wrapper when it's time to take it off. When you first pick this cigar up, it feels very smooth and delicate, and almost uh, a little fragile. But as soon as you get to handling a little bit, you can feel that it's very well made. It's uh, firmly packed. There's no soft spots. It's got a nice square press. It's actually the uh, from what I understand, it's actually the first square pressed uh, cigar by Don Pepin Garcia. So, uh, you know, it's very interesting and and you know, a nice cigar to uh, to give a shot. But anyway, yeah, it's got a nice aroma, nice dark Maduro wrapper. It's uh, very consistent in color, small veins. It's just a uh, great looking cigar. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and and cut my torpedo here. Start with a, a small amount. I had a bit of a problem with the first one I smoked. It had a uh, the draw was a little too loose, but right. and uh, it's about perfect this time. It's got a real nice, smooth, uh, free light flavor. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get started. This is the boring part. If uh, you guys don't like this anymore, I know I got a lot of comments before saying, you know, don't stop uh, toasting a cigar and lighting a cigar on camera. But uh, if, if you know that that, that uh, if that opinion's getting old, please shoot me an email so I can stop doing this. Not that I have a problem doing it. It's just uh, a lull in the tape, and it gets kind of boring. I would think anyway. Well, that about does it. The cigar is lit, producing good smoke. It's uh, wow, it's uh, much more full body than I remembered. And it's uh, a little earlier in the day. I think it's about seven o'clock now, uh, not a.m. It's uh, seven p.m. But uh, anyway, let me smoke into this a little bit further, and I will be back, and uh, we'll get down to business. Welcome back, folks. I'm uh, plugging away on my 601 Maduro here, and I uh, just did a quick little uh, look up on the web. And uh, price point in these for a five pack of the uh, Maduro uh, of the Maduro torpedoes, which are a 52 ring gauge by 6.12 inch length, uh, you're looking at about 35.60 per five pack. Uh, box prices range between 165 and 180 dollars. So. Um, You've, you, you know, you, you don't have a budget stick here, but uh, 
so far it, it's performing really well. Uh, one thing to note about the cigar is that I'm getting a little bit of blistering uh, after each puff. Uh, I tried to take a picture of it. Uh, you know, I'll flash it on the screen see if you can uh, if you can actually see it. But um, you've got the burn line here, which is uh, which is a little uneven. It's a little wavy, but you know, it, but it's not really bad by any means. You've got what they call the uh, the mascara of the cigar, which is uh, the black ring that runs around, and uh, you've got a fairly thin black ring that runs around. It's uh, a little bulging, and uh, right behind that, you've got a light brown ring, which which I see kind of often when Maduro cigars, and I think it's because of the heat. Um, if you've ever over toasted a Maduro cigar or you've gotten the flame a little too close, you'll see that you kind of bleach it almost. You know, you, you know, you're not turning it white, but you're you're taking away that that dark Maduro color and you're lightening the leaf uh, when you get the flame too close to your cigar. And uh, that's really what that would be my guess as to why I'm getting this light colored ring around the outside because of the heat from the the actual burn line. So. Just thought I would point that out. I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, it probably has absolutely nothing to do with the taste of the cigar, but uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a bit finicky. I like to, to really analyze the, the cigar quite a bit. But uh, anyway, the cigar's going really well. The draw on this cigar, um, I had mentioned that I smoked the first one on uh, Dog Watch Cigar Radio. Uh, the draw on that one was really loose. Um, the draw on this one is great. It's uh, it's got a little bit of resistance to it. It's um, you know it's not too loose, not too tight. It's just uh, perfect. Uh, I, you know I really enjoy the burn or the. Uh, well, I'm really getting distracted. <laughs> you know I'm I'm uh, I'm really enjoying the draw. The uh, the amount of smoke that the cigar is putting off. It's uh, it's light. It's uh, you know really light and airy, light in color. Um, doesn't have much aroma to it uh, that I can pick up in the room. You know, I've got some exhaust going on, so you know, nothing's really staying in the room for me to, to notice. But uh, you know, it's 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 certainly not offensive at this point, so that's a plus. The uh, the base flavor is um, it's like. Uh, a mild coffee flavor, but it's mainly bitter chocolate, and uh, the body is uh, about medium to full. Um, and the, the finish is really smooth, and it's crisp. It's typical of a Pepin blended cigar um, when you light this cigar up. And if you've ever had Pepin cigars before, you, you know you'll you'll kind of pick up pick that up right away. Is that it tastes like uh, like a, a product produced by Pepin. So uh, you know there's nothing out of the ordinary about it as far as you know the way the kind of the, the, your base impression. At least that's what the, that's, that's just the way I feel. Like. You know, I've got a, a kind of a base feeling that I look at all all of the pink cigars with, and um, you know they they all are very smooth. They all have very crisp flavors, and you know this is no different. But so far I'm really enjoying it, and uh, I'm going to smoke a little bit further, and uh, you know we'll uh, get back to. You know, discussing the cigar in a little bit. So uh, I'll see you in just a second. Welcome back, folks. As you can see, I'm still plugging away at my uh, 601 Maduro, and uh, so far I'm really happy with it. Uh, during the break, I got a little bit of an uneven burn. You can kind of see it a little bit. Um, it was a little bit worse than this. It's uh, it's beginning to correct itself, which is uh, a big plus. Um, if there is a problem that develops with the cigar, I really like it when it corrects itself. Uh, that way, I don't have to to try, uh, you know, touching up one side, taking the the chance of making it worse, or it, it just uh, it's a crapshoot sometimes when uh, when cigars get uh, uneven burns. So I'm really happy to see that this is correcting itself and everything is going very well. So far, the uh, the draw is still very good. It's uh, nice and free with a little bit of resistance. The resting smoke is still, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not the resting smoke. The uh, the volume of smoke is still very good. It's thick. It's easy to play with. It's very easy to get through your sinuses. The uh, the body is still medium to full. It's uh, it's beginning to gradually pick up and, and become a little more full body, but uh, it's still in the medium to full range. The uh, 
the finish, uh, just as before, it's uh, it's very smooth and crisp. It's um, it's it's about average, you know. It hangs around on your palate for for a minute or two, and then it starts to fade. So you know, overall, it's a very good cigar so far. I'm I'm really enjoying it. The uh, the base flavor is still um, like a coffee flavor with some with some cocoa in there. Um, the cocoa is really taking the the forefront here as the uh, the the coffee flavors begin to fade. And it's also a little spicy, and you'll really pick that up more when you blow it through your sinuses. It uh, it really shines through there. But uh, once again, so far it's uh, it's smoking really well. I'm uh, very happy with it. Just to get off topic for a quick second, the, uh, I have to apologize for the distractions. Um, I used to do these videos um, just sitting in front of the camera with uh, with nothing else going on. Sometimes it get a little boring, and uh, and uh, me and my fiance we've been talking for a little while about getting a laptop, and you know I finally got a laptop and it's sitting here in front of me, and uh, I you know I get the music playing and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, every once in a while, the, the music service I use is uh, is a website. It's uh, Last FM. And every time the, the, the track changes, all the band information and stuff comes up on the screen, and I can't help but look at it. And uh, my apologies for that. I should really start closing the screen, but uh, too lazy, I guess. But uh, anyway, uh, sorry for the uh, the distractions. I'll try to keep those minimized. But anyway, I'm going to uh, kick back, listen to some music, smoke my cigar, and uh, you know, be back. Probably twice more. Uh, these these clips are going pretty quick, so I'll be back to do a, a final third, and I'll be back one more time to do a, a show wrap up. So uh, anyway, see you in just a second. Welcome back, folks. I'm uh, getting down to the nitty gritty with my uh, my uh, EO One Brands 601 Maduro, and uh, so far I'm just I'm really happy with it. Yeah, the volume of smoke is still good. The resting smoke is beginning to pick up a little bit. It's, uh, you know, now it's beginning to fill the room a little bit. And uh, you know, the room room is really nice. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, it doesn't seem like it would be offensive to, to anyone, but, you know, you never know. Uh, being a cigar smoker, sometimes um, what you think is a, a very aromatic and wonderful smelling cigar is just uh, brutal on, on someone who doesn't, uh, you know, share the hobby. But uh, but anyway, the uh, you know the volume of smoke is good. It's, you can still get it very easily through your sinuses. It uh, it's, it's very flavorful. The uh, the body is still medium to full. It's uh, it, you know it's not really progressing into the full range. It's uh, and uh, the finish is still very smooth and crisp on the palate. It still lasts you know a minute or two and then fades. The base flavor is still predominantly cocoa, uh, like a like a really dark uh, chocolate sort of flavor. The, uh, there's still some some coffee flavors there, but the, you know they're really beginning to fade in the background. And uh, when you when you get the smoke through your sinus, you should be able to pick up some some spice. And while the uh, all the this base flavor, you know all these these flavors I've been describing, uh, they they haven't really changed. They're uh, you know they haven't changed from like one distinct flavor to the next, but uh, they they are becoming more rich and just uh, really more in depth and you know they're developing more character they're uh, you know you, you, I'm, I really have to keep telling myself to slow down because I want to keep puffing on the cigar they're getting that much you know more and more in depth and enjoyable and I really like them but I, you know sound like a broken record but you know I, I'm really enjoying the cigar I've had all three of the 601s um, and in, in the past I, I, I enjoyed the 601 Connecticut much more than I did the Habana but uh, this one, it's it's a dead heat. Uh, I really don't know which one I like better, uh, the the 601 Connecticut or the 601 Maduro. They're both very good cigars. You know, I'll I'll have to make that decision when I smoke the last of my 601 Maduros, which uh, Jerry was kind enough to send me three of them. So, you know, I'm really I'm I'm probably gonna have to smoke that Maduro sometime during the week. You know, I I'm just really liking this cigar. But uh, anyway, before I uh, before I take another quick break, I uh, just wanted to let you know what's going on with the Stogie Review. We have uh, some contests coming up for uh, a Stinky Cigar um, Herf Edition Ashtray. Uh, we're not quite sure how we're going to do that contest just yet, but uh, keep an eye out for that in the future. We also have a, a three-month subscription to CigarMonthClub.com, 
which is uh, a monthly cigar club. They send you uh, a few cigars every month, and uh, you know they, they change up their rotation just to give you something new and exciting every month. So I'm really looking forward to, to trying out my subscription. We'll be doing a review on, on the service itself and you know how the cigars come. Uh, you know the the variety you you get, and uh, you know just the typical things you would look for in uh, in a monthly cigar club like that. Um, actually, I think that's about it for the the contest. The, um, the the logo contest I think is going to be ending very very soon. I know Jerry was uh, was talking about getting that the the poll system set up. Uh, he apologized for the delay on that. So look for that in the next coming days. We have uh, we have some really good entries, so I'm really excited to see who wins out and wins that box of Tetawahe Series P. But uh, you know, a lot of a lot of good things going on with Sogi Review. So anyway, I'm going to take another quick break, and I will be back one final time, and we'll do a wrap up, and you know, I'll let you get out of here. So uh, see you in just a second. Well, welcome back, folks, for the uh, the wrap up of my uh, 601 Maduro. And uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm, I'm really liking it. I uh, had to break out a toothpick just so I can continue to smoke it uh, without burning my fingers. Uh, the cigar is just uh, it's, it's putting off lots of smoke. It's very flavorful, very enjoyable. And just like I said before, every puff seems to get more complex and more rich, and it's the type of cigar where it's getting really short, you just don't want it to end. The flavors are just so good at this point in the cigar that, you know, I really don't think I'd get the same effect if I lit up another one. You know, I, I just want it to keep going just as it is. And uh, unfortunately, all good things just have to come to an end, and uh, the cigar is just going to have to be put out sooner or later. But, uh... For the time being, I'm, uh, I'm just going to keep puffing away until the toothpick starts to burn, and then I'll, I'll put it out. But um, if you couldn't tell, I, I really recommend the cigar. I think it's very good. Uh, of you know, of the three, I think it's a dead heat as far as my preferences between the, the 601 Connecticut and the 601 Maduro. It's just uh, a very good cigar. It delivers uh, a lot of good flavors. It's very smooth. It's not uh, harsh or offensive or, or anything like that. It's just... Uh, it's just a very good cigar overall. The uh, the construction's great. Um, you know the appearance is good. The burn's good. Uh, just uh, everything's been been very good about the cigar. So uh, you know, take it for what it's worth. I uh, I, lo I definitely like it, and we'll be buying uh, some more in the future. But uh, can't say it enough. Just uh, really like the cigar. And uh, that about wraps it up for the 601 Maduro. So. Oh, one more thing before I get out of here. Uh, the YouTube videos, if you're a YouTube watcher, uh, my apologies, but I think that the YouTube videos are going to come to an end. Um, and the reason being that um, I'm just having a lot of trouble with YouTube. And uh, from what I understand, they're going to be, they're either going to be cutting all the videos that are over 10 minutes, or they are no longer going to be uh, compressing the videos that are over 10 minutes. So all my videos from probably from here on out are all going to be on blip.tv. Um, they do a, a great job over there. They are uh, they don't compress your videos. Uh, I'm looking to to try to get them in the 16 by 9 widescreen format. So if you like the way Jerry's uh, videos look, uh, I, I think you'll you'll like uh, the videos that I'm going to try to get up on on Blip TV. But, uh, anyway, that wraps it up for the 601 Maduro. Highly recommend it. Uh, definitely give one a shot if you can find one locally. If not. You can head over to AtlanticCigar.com, Famous Cigar, um, and I even think Cigars International, all, they all sell f uh, five packs, and you can buy a box as well, but uh, great value, uh, good cigar. Uh, it's a little, you know, it might be a little bit out of reach as far as uh, the some some people's budgets go. You know, uh, for me, you know, I, I have a tough time buying a box of cigars that are over $100, but but this cigar is, is uh, definitely good enough uh, that that I'll definitely be taking that. Uh, you know, I'm going to be looking into that in the future. I think I might buy a box. But uh, anyway, <laughs> keep saying it. But uh, that does it. So uh, you know, hopefully you hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, look forward to hearing your comments, uh, emails. Keep it, the emails coming in. We uh, we really appreciate the questions. They'll be being fed right into the uh, the next episodes of uh, your questions. My